Hello and welcome to another Motion Industries how-to video. My name is Tom Clark and on today's how-to, we're going to show you how to mount a C-Face motor to a Quill-style gearbox. And helping us out is our good friend from Baldor, Dave Felt. So Dave, good to see you, buddy. How you doing? Hey, Tom. I'm doing very well. It's always great nice to, be to have here. Mr. Regular here. I'm going to call you Dave Regular. Thank you. I like that. <laughs> I like that. It's great to be here. And I know we've got a C-Face motor. I know we've got a Quill-style gearbox. So uh, how are we going to put this all together today? Yeah, what we're going to do today, Tom, is we're going we're gonna to take a 56 C-Face motor. We're mm -hmm. going to kind of go through the steps of how to properly mount that to a, a standard C-Face 56 input quill style gearbox. And what we have in front of us is a Baldor electric motor okay. and we've got a Dodge Tie Gear quill style gearbox. Okay, now what are the advantages of doing something like this? Because I understand that these are kind of things, they're, they're very common. You're going to find these pretty much everywhere. So what are the advantages of this? The two advantages that, that jump out quickly with a quill style is one, because of the closeness, right. the gearbox and motor combination is very compact. Okay. So the overall length is shorter than, say, a three-piece coupled input unit. Gotcha. So compact and, more, and, and smaller in size. And secondly, because you don't have that input shaft and the three-piece coupling, typically the quill style combination is less expensive. So we're saving a lot of money as well. Well, you can save some money, absolutely. All right, okay, before we get started, going to put on the PPE. I got my, uh, my cool safety glasses on here. I used to fly World War II planes. That's, I love them. Long yeah. time ago. Great. But these work. Make sure that you're wearing whatever the PPE calls for on the job, which is very important. Dave, it's on you. Go. Okay. First thing we want to do is we want to take a, a rag of some sort and make mm -hmm. sure that we wipe the face of the motor. Mm -hmm. Make sure that it's clean of any grime, grit, anything like that. Make sure there's no metal spurs or anything like that around it. Also wipe the shaft down. Gotcha. Once we've done that, we want to do the same thing with the gearbox, you know. Uh, Grit and contamination is not a friend of gearboxes, so we want to make sure that we wipe clean the surface and make sure that it's nice and smooth and there's no burrs on that as well. We always talk about contaminants, anything like that can always, that, that can always hinder performance. Absolutely. Okay, all right, we're clean, that. we're ready to go. Okay, so, so now in this case, since it is a 56 C-Face, it's relatively light, so we can put the, the gearbox in a vertical position here. All right. And the thing we want to do next is take a small film of grease and, and and rub that across the surface of the gearbox. The reason why we want to do that is because we're next going to put in place the gasket and the gasket will hold in place better with a small film of grease on that gearbox. Easier so to when you, when, you, when you line it up. So Absolutely. Just a little bit. Okay. Absolutely. All right. All right. So now we have the gasket in place. The next thing comes the gearbox, or the motor onto the gearbox. All right. So in this case, we simply line up the keyway of okay. the motor right. with the keyway right. that exists in the gearbox. Okay. There we go. Okay. So now that we've got the motor in position, mm -hmm. we then rotate the motor until the bolts line up with the bolts holes that are on the C-face of the gearbox. Okay. Now, I notice we have our locking bolts here. We're going to use our locking bolts? That's correct. Okay. Lastly, we position the motor correctly. We now insert the bolts. Okay. It, through the C face of the gearbox and into the holes uh, found on the C face of the motor. Now, if I remember correctly, once all those bolts are in there, we got a torque wrench. We want to make sure that everything is torqued just right. That's correct. That's correct, Tom. And and certainly in the instruction manual, there's a chart there that'll tell you exactly what torque that these bolts should be torqued to. Okay. Now this was pretty small, small motor. We were able to lift it rather easily. Right. But let's say we've got a half ton motor or we've got a ton motor. How are we going to accomplish the same thing? Well, certainly safety is very important. And mm -hmm. in the case where you've got a heavier motor that it's not as convenient to do vertically, you simply would do it horizontally. Most of those, those heavier motors will come with a lifting bolt or an eye bolt on the top of the motor. Right. And that will enable you to then simply assemble the gearbox and motor combination in a more horizontal manner versus the vertical like we've done today. Thanks, Dave. We Great appreciate job. it. Thank you. Dave Felt from Baldor once again showing us how to do a, a C-Face motor and mounting it to a Quill-style gearbox. Hey, if you have any questions about anything you saw here today, contact your nearest Motion Industries branch location. They'll be able to help you out. As you saw, I had in my PPE. It's always important. Also, check out more MI How To videos and also Tom's Toolboxes on MIHowTo.com. I'm Tom Clark. Thanks for watching today.